album art. It's hard to do a good album cover on a download. But uh, this particular song here was recorded back in the days when we had those big old records. men and women in uniform in some pretty desolate parts of the world. I want to tell you something, and it's a conclusion from my heart. No matter if you find them at a base in this country or some hellhole over in Afghanistan or Iraq, they're the best we've got. There are no finer Americans than the ones we see wearing those uniforms. 
We owe them an unpayable debt of gratitude. And not just our folks who are on active duty now, but also to all of our veterans and National Guard and our reserve. And one thing that we owe them, in my opinion, is we should never send them off the war if we're not prepared to win it. And I have the greatest and utmost admiration for our U.S. military. And in my estimation, I don't think we've ever been in a war we couldn't win if we take the politics out of it and leave it up to the military people. I am not a politically correct person. And I probably shouldn't say that. Well, I will. I'm 75 years old, my taxes are paid. I say whatever I want to. But, <laughs> you know, I just, uh, I kind of get disgusted about how uh, we send our young men and women off and don't give them a chance to win the wars that they're in. We wrote this song about it, we hope you like it. Say a prayer for Bobby He's somewhere south of Kandahar tonight Ask the Lord to be with him And have his angels to protect him in the fight He's seen a lot of killing Though he's only turned 19 He's a brave American warrior And a Semper Fi Marine But he's got a baby girl at home That he ain't ever seen Pray for him Say a prayer for Sally She's on a C-130, headed out downrange. She don't know where she's going, but she knows her young life's just about to change. She wants to serve her country, so she didn't hesitate. Cause in her heart, she wanted to be part of something great. So she joined the army on the day she graduated. Pray for her. the 